It's morning and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I had a cup of coffee already and um, and my protein shake to get me through my workout. And okay guys, so I made it to the gym and we're gonna be doing a full body workout today. I kept my outfit really simple, just a basic Nike top bra with some high-waisted Nike tights and some harachis. So I'm going to start off with some body weight movements to warm up my body. So I'm going to be doing 35 seconds of jump squats. I'm going to be doing two sets here. Alright, next I'm going to be doing some push-ups to get the blood flowing in my upper body. And I'm going to be doing two sets as well here. And I'm going to do about 20 standard regular push-ups. Alright, so I'm going to warm up my glutes, my posterior chain, and I'm going to be doing one set of kickbacks here, 45 seconds each leg. Alright, so next I'm going to warm up my hip abductors, it's my side glutes and like the side of my legs and I'm going to be using a band here. One set, 45 seconds. Alright, next I'm going to do glute bridges and I'm going to keep the resistance bands around my legs and I'm going to do one set here as well for 45 seconds. This is going to work my glutes and my hamstrings as well. Now I'm going to be moving into a bit of core work. I'm going to be keeping my abdominal exercises at one set here for 45 seconds. I added a one pound weight as I am crunching and reaching through my legs. Okay, to work the lower abs, I'm going to be doing some sweeping leg lifts. These are like one of my favorite exercises at the moment. I'm going to keep these at one set as well for 45 seconds. Okay, so to end off my core work, I'm going to be doing plank twists to work my obliques. Alright, my last exercise for body weight, I'm going to be doing some underhand pull-ups and I'm going to do one set max out, so however many I can do till failure. And with proper form, quality over quantity. I used to kind of cheat these and I'm retraining my body to actually go fully through the movement. All right, so now I'm ready to move into my weight training session and I'm starting off with shoulder shrugs. I'm going to be doing three sets of 30 reps here. To work my back, I'm going to be doing seated dumbbell rows and I'm going to perform three sets of 20 reps here. And what I like to do as I go through the sets is I do progress on the weight, guys. So I rarely ever keep it at the same weight. I always try to move up to challenge my body and my muscles. All right, now we got T-bar row, and I'm gonna be doing three sets here as well at 20 reps. Next, I'm going to move into a bit of glute work, doing cable kickbacks, and I'm going to do three sets of 15 reps here, each leg. All right, so I want to work the other muscle groups in my leg, so I'm going to add in leg presses, I'm going to be performing three sets of 20 reps here. Okay, so to end off my workout, I'm going to be doing some calf presses. 
For each set, I am going to switch up my feet placement and I'm going to perform 20 to 30 reps each set. Okay, so I am back from the gym and I'm all showered up and dressed for the day. I've got to take my truck to the shop because I'm having some little minor issues, but I'm gonna take it to the automotive shop to get some work done on it, and then I'm gonna Uber back home and then eat breakfast. So I have not ate anything now, and it is around, what time is it? Right now it's around 11 o'clock, and I'm not gonna eat till after 12, maybe in between the hour of 12 to one, or no later than 1 p.m. So. All right, you guys, so it is time for breakfast. It's around 11.30, so this is gonna be my first full meal of the day. I had protein shake earlier before I trained. Now it's time for like the real, wait, it's not 11.30, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's 12.30, or it's around 12.30. I'm gonna have some overnight oats, and I'm gonna add in some seasonal ingredients, and yeah, so I'm gonna share that with you guys now. Before getting into my breakfast meal, I'd like to say thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. Thrive Market is an online healthy living marketplace that is easy and affordable for everyone. You can shop organic foods and natural products at 25 to 50 percent below traditional retail prices. I love that I can create virtual shopping aisles tailored to my dietary preferences and selection of products by using their filter tools. Thrive Market has a wide variety of foods and products to offer from non-GMO foods to eco-friendly cleaning supplies and non-toxic beauty products. With each membership, Thrive Market's Thrive Gives charity program helps those in need such as low-income families, teachers, veterans, and victims in need of disaster relief. To get a 30-day free trial plus 25% off of your first order, click the link down below in my description box. Okay, so I prepared my overnight oats the night before and I'm going to add in one third cup of gluten-free rolled oats, one tablespoon of super seeds mix for healthy fats, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, and I'm going to add in, well I'm going to mix all this stuff up first before I add in my milk and it's going to be a pumpkin spice half and half flavor and I'm only going to do a cup here. And then I'm going to mix that up really good and then to kind of sweeten the oatmeal I'm going to add in these vanilla sweet drops by Stevia. I'm only going to do two squirts there. Mix that in really good and then I'm going to put the lid on my mason jar and then pop it in the fridge and then it'll be ready the next afternoon. So it's the next afternoon. We're kind of thick there. I didn't add a lot of milk. But I'm going to top it off with this pumpkin spice granola. I'm going to add a little bit more of some milk and I'm going to add in a full banana. So I'm going to add in about a fourth a cup more of, about a fourth cup more of milk, a fourth cup of the granola and then I'm going to add in the whole entire banana and I'm going to mix that up and eat it. All right, so it's going to work on some laundry before I get ready to prepare lunch. Lunch is going to be quite a meal. Well, actually, I'm going to have a snack before lunch. I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm just going to work on some things around the house. All right, guys. So I'm going to have a snack. It's my first snack of the day. Well, I guess you can say it's my second snack because of the protein shake before I lifted today. And then now I'm going to have another protein shake, but I'm going to add in a bit of nutrients or some other ingredients. Yeah. So what is what I'm having? So I'm gonna have this protein powder that I got on Thrive Market. And it is plant-based protein. It's Terra's Organic Pumpkin Protein Organic Vanilla Flavor. I've never tried this, so I'm excited. It's seasonal, it's festive, and it's pumpkin flavored. I feel like everything's pumpkin flavored during this time. We're gonna try this out. It's complete protein. There is no GMOs, no soy, no dairy, and it is gluten-free. Down there at the bottom, 21 grams of protein per scoop. They also had this in like a vanilla flavor. Wait, I got the vanilla flavor. They also had this in chocolate flavor and in plain, but I opted for vanilla. Just gonna play it safe. Mmm, it smells good. It smells yummy. I'm gonna also add in this Expedition Peely Butter. I hope I'm saying this right. <laughs> I'm gonna add in this Peely Pumpkin Butter. Peely? Piley? I don't know. 
I don't know. But I'm gonna add this in. It's paleo, keto, and it's vegan. And I've already tried it, it's pretty good. It's high fat, pumpkin spice, and everything nice. And then I'm just gonna add in cashew milk, and then that's it. Oh, I'm gonna add in some flaxseed milk. All right, yeah, I'm talking too much. Okay, so I'm gonna try a little bit of this pumpkin powder. It's green inside. It's actually not bad by itself. It's sweetened with stevia, so like no refined sugars. That's good. All right, so I'm gonna add two cups of unsweetened vanilla cashew milk, two scoops of the pumpkin protein powder, one tablespoon of flaxseed milk, and one tablespoon of the peely butter. And I'm also going to add in a little bit of spring water. I'd say about a cup to be more precise. I'm gonna blend that up really nice. So I have my little metal straw here. I feel like I could have added a bit more water, but <sighs> tastes good to me. Now I'm gonna move into the preparation for lunch. I'm gonna have a nourish bowl. So I'm gonna start off with baking some Brussels sprouts. They've already been rinsed off and I'm cutting them in halves. And to flavor it, I'm gonna use two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of grounded black pepper, one tablespoon of coconut oil, and I'm going to mix that all up. I'm gonna kind of coat the bowl here. And then I'm gonna add in, I'd say about half of my Brussels sprouts, coat those before transferring them to a sheet pan. So I am going to place them on top of parchment paper, spread out the Brussels sprouts, add in, add on a bit more nutritional yeast, pop those in the oven at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes, take them out, and that's what they look like. All right, so now we're gonna make some beet hummus, and I'm gonna be using one can of cut beets. I'm going to cut them up into smaller pieces because I am going to roast them and the smaller pieces will be easier for me to grind later on. So I'm going to transfer these into a bowl and I'm going to add one tablespoon of avocado oil, half a teaspoon of grounded thyme, and one teaspoon of black pepper. Then we're going to mix that up really good. Mix all the ingredients up and I'm going to transfer those two on a sheet pan on parchment paper and I'm going to Bake these at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. And I think I overcooked mine. It's my first time making beet hummus, so mine's a little bit crispy. But I'm gonna need you're gonna need a, pro, a food processor here. So I'm just gonna grind up the beets first before I add in the rest of the ingredients. So I have a can of low sodium garbanzo beans. I'm gonna use two teaspoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of tahini, one fourth cup of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna use a Buddha hand here to add in some zest. The pieces here are kind of big. And then one medium lemon squeeze. I know there's a half lemon here, but I am gonna actually use a whole lemon during this process. So I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredients to my food processor, and I'm just going to grind them up. I didn't picture in the water, but I am gonna slowly add in water and lemon as I continue to grind all the ingredients together until they're smooth. And so after they're all smooth, I'm gonna add in the extra virgin olive oil and mix that in together and then transfer it over into a container. I'm also gonna steam some collard greens. Kept it really simple here, just water and the greens in the pan. I'm gonna warm up a can of organic pumpkin. I don't know why I thought that this was gonna be pumpkin chunks, but it's pureed pumpkin. But we're gonna make it work and we're gonna still add it in. So to flavor it a little bit, I'm gonna add in a bit of cinnamon to the pumpkin just to give it a little taste. All right, so I'm gonna plate my food. So I'm gonna add one cup of collard greens, half a cup of Brussels sprouts, half a cup of quinoa from my protein source, one third cup of the pureed pumpkin, half a cup of beet hummus, and I'm gonna add in some texture. So I'm gonna use these dried cranberries that I bought on Thrive Market. I'm gonna add those to taste. And I'm also gonna add some crushed pecans to taste. I'd say I add about one or two tablespoons. And voila, that is my nourish bowl and that's what I'm having for lunch. Just kind of mix the ingredients together. It's kind of tasty. It's actually really tasty. All right, so before dinner, I'm just gonna buy time, do some more things around the house. I'm gonna wrap my little nephew's birthday gift. He is a Halloween baby. 
Alright you guys, so it is dinner time and I am going to cut the carbs on this. So I'm going to be doing a keto-ish type of meal. And I'm going to keep it really simple. So I'm going to have some tofu for my protein source. Plain, baked, in the oven. And I'm going to pair that with some asparagus. Okay, so I'm preparing my asparagus and I'm going to zest half of a lemon and then in a bowl I'm going to add a tablespoon of avocado oil, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of the lemon zest and I'm going to mix that all together. Using the mixture I'm going to drizzle it on top of the fresh asparagus. I'm going to rub that in and then I'm going to transfer the asparagus onto some parchment paper on a sheet pan and I'm going to roast these on 425 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes. And then after I take those out of the oven I'm going to add some black pepper and this vegan parmesan cheese that is so good. I'm going to sprinkle about one to two tablespoons on top of my asparagus and then I'm going to plate my food. Okay so I'm going to have about 10 to 12 asparagus spears and about six and a half ounces of tofu for my dinner and that's it. Alright guys I'm going to call it in. Love you and see you next video. Bye.